pretty hard. Hey, pushing carts is no. I I, I respect everyone that does that because like, I think uh, it's a selfless selfless act or like selfless job because like everyone doesn't say thank you sometimes. So like uh, you know, and you just gotta make sure the whole uh, the whole area is neat and clean mm -hmm. and just all the carts are back together and stuff. So mm -hmm. it's cool. Did you call her after the game, or how did y'all celebrate your first turn to your game? Oh, yeah. No, it was good. No, I was calling her after her games and stuff, so, you know, she was just excited for me as of all the games. So, you know, just uh, excited for a boy in the NFL and all that. So, uh, just trying to make her and my family proud and stuff, so. And speaking of thank you, so the O-line, these guys, these guys get after it. Okay. Oh, yeah. No. No, all my success is to the big boys over there, man. No, I think because um, they don't get that much credit and stuff, but I think, um, they deserve, they deserve all the credit, especially for me and CC, just found the rock and then Duke as well. So. Yeah. Did you ever hear what Keith Jackson, the old play-by-play -play guy, always called it alignment? Uh, the big uglies. The big uglies. <laughs> <laughs> that's a compliment. Oh, no, heck yeah. No, what challenges funny. does this Ravens defensive front bring you? Yeah, you know, they're a big, big style, big style defensive line. I think their linebacking core is like one of the best that we play against. So, um, no, we're just excited for, excited for the challenge, excited for the opportunity to strap it up again. So, you know, just um, excited for Saturday. Besides the line obviously helping you, what's the key for you to keep the, the momentum going and maybe getting another personal best in the right game? Yeah, sure. I think just uh, taking care of the details and all the small things just all around. All around between running backs, quarterbacks, um, all line and number series as well. So I think um, just having a detail oriented game and um, should be fun. Have you ever played on Christmas Eve before? And what do you think it's going to be like playing on Christmas Eve? I've never played on Christmas Eve. So um, should be fun. Yeah. Should be fun. You know, excited. You know, uh, you don't really get holidays, is what I tend to learn in the NFL. So um, should be, uh, no, should be good. Should be good. I'm excited. I was talking to Drake and he shared with me that there's a secret Santa going on between the position groups. Um, do you guys have a secret Santa going on with the running backs? We and do. What's the, what's the, like the limit or the, the max? Or uh, the for us, it's a uh, 500 minimum. So uh, I guess it's all right. <laughs> like, <laughs> sure, that's expensive. My voice coming from uh, you know, just coming into this. But, um, but no, we're excited. Excited to see what everyone gets each other. You know, none of you want to make sure you get CP since that seems like that would be the unfortunate one. <laughs> no, no, heck no. <laughs> no, uh, I didn't. Did I get him? No, I actually, I can't tell you. Go for it. Let's see what happens. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to trick you. I was wondering like, whether like, that's the one you don't want to get because he's the vet and has the most oh, money no. and like, the most stuff. Oh, that's true. I didn't even think about it like that. So, um, yeah, it should be good. What type of gift giver are you? Would you say you're a good gift giver or are you like a practical guy, gift card guy? No, I would say a uh, gift giver just, uh, just throughout the meetings and stuff, just learning through with everyone. So, uh, kind of have an idea of what everyone likes. Hopefully, well, we'll see when What's the gift the gives. happening? Thir Thursday or Friday, one of those. So it should, should be interesting. Okay. Should be fun. <laughs> All right, appreciate it. Thank you, Doug.